Hi, Carl here for Pro EV TV at NAB 2018 at the Atlas stand, talking to Forrest and Dan. How are you guys doing? Good. Great, how are you? Very, very good, thank you. So, let's explain a little bit about what an Atlas lenses are. I mean, how long, how long have you guys been making lenses now? We've been working on the Atlas Lens Co. project for about three years now, mm -hmm. and we launched last NAB 2017 uh, publicly and we announced our first series of lenses at that trade show, the 40, the 65, and the 100 millimeter Orion series. And those are a T2 anamorphic with a two times squeeze ratio. Yeah, that's the key thing here is the anamorphic. You guys are an anamorphic lens company, right? Rather than normal sort of Super 35 and the rest of it. Yeah, I think that's something that we embrace really, you know, wholeheartedly is that we're doing anamorphic. Something we both love. I think it's one of our favorite things about cinema. Oddly enough, it's, it's something that you catch um, right away when you see it, you feel it more than you see it sometimes, that it's anamorphic. and you oh, can It's really definitely about it. a feeling rather yeah. than... Yeah. yeah, it is definitely about that feeling. Nostalgia maybe, I don't know, but we love it. Yeah, it just triggers an emotional response, I think, and it's um, sort of more akin to human vision, we, we also like to think, so... Yeah. Do you think that was your, was that your main inspiration for sort of starting the company, was to get anamorphic, sort of good anamorphic options, like modern anamorphic options? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. yeah. It was yeah. to get it in the hands of people like us <laughs> who love anamorphic. So, Did you make them for yourself? Is that what happened? Actually, yes. <laughs> yeah, it's, oddly, it's yeah. a little bit of a selfish pursuit, but we really hope that it would trickle out as an interest for a lot of other people as well. Surely. I think so. They're really nice lenses. Oh, thank you so much. I mean, what, what do you reckon sets them apart from some of the other anamorphic options out there? Sure. So, I mean, anytime you're designing a lens, there's always going to be compromises. And what we like to think of our lenses as is classic lens designs with modern engineering. Okay. And we went for a very well-rounded design concept. So um, by that I mean you might have to give up certain things in order to achieve other things. Um, one of our primary concerns was having really good top and bottom and left and right sharpness through the field. Um, good field flatness. You see and that a lot on some anamorphics, real edge sharp and sort of quite soft at the edges. Some people call it the egg, like a focus egg, because yeah. of the the through focus becomes uh, sort of an egg shape. And we think that's really cool too, but it's just not what we personally wanted to pursue. Yep. And so we try to focus on what we'd like to see that was different than what other people were doing. And you know, there's always horses for courses. So like, I like all the other lenses too. Um, but we want to have that would have good, good uh, low distortion, um, yeah, low field curvature. Yeah, balance through the frame. And I think that's important. And uh, when you're trying to, I guess, cater to anyone can use these lenses and be happy with using them. Yeah. So you're not stuck with just one look, but you have the character of anamorphic, you know, sort of ingrained into it. And that's what was important to us to do. So the current focal lengths are what? The first three that are shipping are the 40 millimeter, the 65 millimeter, and the 100 millimeter. And they're all T2? That's correct. And then, and then there's three more. Yeah, early next year, we're going to begin shipping the 32 millimeter, the 50 millimeter, and the 80 millimeter, also T2. And they're a matching set, so the coatings and, and designs match each other. And uh, you can pre-order the new 32, 50, and 80 uh, now. Amazing. Cool. Thank you guys very much. Thanks so much.